Hey y'all, it's Sam. So welcome to my first Studio Tools how-to video. Um, for my first one, I've decided to show you guys how to use the trace window. Um, this is a question I get a lot is how do you trace it? Um, how do you detach it? So I'm going to show you guys not only how to do it, but what each of these filters are actually for. So to start, I just went and I found a random clip art image on Google. Um, I chose this one because it has a lot of black and white in it, and it also has a piece in the middle here that I might, you know, want to cut out, or you can leave it your choice. So to start, you're going to come up here to the trace window, and you're going to hit select trace area. And first, I'm going to show you what each of these filters actually does and what it means, and then I'm going to show you how to apply it to each of the tracing methods. So go ahead and trace your image, and it's going to put these yellow lines on here. Let me just zoom in a little. Um, it's going to put these yellow lines on here, and these yellow lines are the trace lines. So everything that's yellow will have a line up against it when you trace it. So there will be a line right here. There will also be a line on the inside. Um, and it may not show up like this when you click it the first time. So high pass filter will actually make it so this trace line starts on the very outside that it can actually read. Um, it's really good to use images that have uh, black outlines. If you have a white one, the software can't always tell that there's a line there and you won't be able to trace it properly. So right now it's saying that there is black right here and it's going to start the trace line there. So if I move this high fat high pass filter up it's going to just start filling everything in it's going to work from the outside edge in so i'm just going to turn that off so i can show you what the low pass filter does and if i turn this on oh well let me turn it back down so the low pass filter will start with everything filled in and as you move it up it will unfill things and sometimes with the image you just have to play around with both of these filters to to get the perfect um, combination of both so threshold is how um, thick you want your trace line to be. So if I don't want it very thick, I can turn the trace line down and it will slowly start to get rid of it. If I want it thicker, I can continue to turn it up. A lot of people will start and they'll turn it all the way up and then adjust the other filters around it. Again, it's just however you want to do it. Um, you really just need to play around with these filters yourself to get a better feel for it. And lastly, the scale is just how fine you want the edge. Um, this is a pixelated image, so you can see the edges of the pixels here. And if you want it smoother, I don't know if it will really show it on this one. You can see it did a little bit. It made them smaller. Um, or if you want it rougher, you can turn it up. That's all scale does is how fine you want the edge to be. So I'm going to zoom back out. And now I'm going to show you how to actually apply these apply these um, trace methods to the filters that you just learned how to use. So trace is going to, again, trace everything against this yellow line here. So I'm just going to hit it just to show you what's going to happen. Actually, let me turn that back up. Fill everything back in. Just to show you what's going to happen. And if I move this, it cut out everything. It's tracing every little black line in here. And that may be great. That's what you want to use it for. Um, that's great. And a lot of times that's what people will use it for with more simplistic images. But this one is a little complicated. So, And if you just want the outside edge of this, that's what Trace Outer Edge does. As you can see, we just have that edge now. And Trace and Detach is actually really useful. Um, oops. So as you can see, this is a white box that the image was on. Um, it was just the picture I found on the internet, uh, and it's got the image in the middle of it. And you don't always want that there. You might want to take one image off of another one um, if you have like a group of pictures or something. So Trace and Detach will actually just cut that out, kind of like what Silhouette does on paper, but you're doing it in the program. And then you can just go ahead and delete that background. So I'm actually going to show you how to also trace this if you wanted um, to cut out this middle part here or this little area between his legs or even this little area between his arms. So come back up here to select trace area and you're just going to trace the whole thing again. Make sure you have nice clean crisp lines around the edges and you're going to hit trace just how it is. So go ahead and drag it off. And as you can see, it traced that image, everything that's in here. 
and you can't really do anything with this how it is right now because everything is attached. But you can right click and go to release compound path and that's going to make it so each of these little things in here is now a separate object and you can actually delete the ones you don't want. So I'm just going to start deleting pieces, oops, not drag, deleting pieces of his face. I don't want to cut any of this out. And this might be the slower process right now because of this picture. But I do want to leave the big piece right here. And I'm going to leave this piece right here. And I'm going to leave this little piece right here. Sorry, this part takes a little longer. Almost done. So now you want to highlight all of them and just make them a compound path again. And that's going to make it so when you move it, they're all going to stay together. You can also go down here and hit the group button, either or. It doesn't really matter for this. So to line them back up, you just want to drag your image over it roughly. It doesn't have to be perfect. Highlight both of them and come up here to your align window. And you're just going to hit align center and then align middle. And now you have it perfectly lined up again. And you just want to come up to your cut wind settings window and check it to make sure, yes, it is cutting around the outside. It is cutting out that space here. And it's cutting out this middle space here and is for his little arm. So that is how you use the trace feature in Silhouette, and I hope this video helped you guys out. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave a comment for me. I always like hearing your suggestions on future videos you might want to. Thanks, guys.